Hey guys, what's up? It's Aaron, and I'm here with all of my best friends. All of these cows and chickens laying mm -hmm. eggs everywhere, and sheep, and... Anyway, so you remember how back in VMC Tech, all those months ago, I made a deal with TechThor for glass mm -hmm. from my Tech Olympics arena? How about that? I give you some glass for your arena, and in return, you build a house on my island, sure. made out of wood in yeah. Avon style, and we call it the Avon House. Yeah, that sounds great. So, yeah. Schedules never lined up, then real life happened, and I mm. never did build on Thor's Island. I'm sorry! Mm. I meant to do it! I promise! I feel so bad! Now, mm. the server is gone, and I can't really build on his island anymore, but a deal is a deal. This is a little something specifically for Tech Thor in return for his very generous gift of glass. Thank you, Thor. It was very appreciated. It's been a bit, but better late than never. That's what I say. Mm. Start the time lapse. Come on, Daisy, let's go. So, with the powers vested in me by Creative Mode and World Edit, here is Tech Thor's mm. hammer. Did you guys know that you can just take off in Creative Mode and the cow will stay attached to the lead? Sorry, Daisy, let's let's take care mm. of you. No. <gasps> At least you're delicious. I started off by looking up a bunch of reference pictures of decorative war hammers and used them as inspiration for a pencil drawing of what I was going to build. I thought a hammer would be appropriate since Beyond the obvious Thor's hammer, Tech Thor is also into science and industry. A hammer seemed like a good symbol. You can't really see much from this angle, which is why the cinematics are all rather zoomed out. But this kind of gives you a sense of the scale of this thing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty massive. In total, this was about a four and a half hour build. It was pretty intimidating doing a build like this since you know, I'm not very experienced with sculpture, but in the end, I came out with a shape and end product that I really liked. It took a lot of trial and error to get the the swoop here on the top and bottom sculpted out, and the way that the handle curves. Uh, uh, Minecraft isn't great at curves, and I'm not great at figuring out curves in Minecraft, and so this was a new skill for me. So I'm really excited with how this came out. When I was done with the hammer, I used World Edit to sculpt some cliffs to give it a, you know, give it a background. I feel like things just look better with a landscape around them, and it's especially needed in a super flat world. There's just nothing going on, and it's very boring. Just, uh, ignore the weird mounds behind the cliffs. <laughs> I was never very good at World Edit, and, and now I'm also rusty. Finally, I finished off the build with a pile of diamond blocks as a present to our favorite industry leader. So what is Thor gonna do with a pile of diamond blocks in a creative super flat world? I, I, I don't know. Oh, how appropriate, a thunderstorm. Can we get a good bit of lightning going on? <laughs> and with that, Tech Thor's hammer is complete. He's already been sent a copy of the map, Thor, feel free to use it however you'd like. It is 100% yours. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Let me know if you liked the video, and I will see you another time. Goodbye! Get out of here, bats.